Hello everyone. So, as I told you in the previous lecture that most of the differential equations those are associated with or coming from the real life phenomena or some from the some real life process do not possess analytical solution. So, hence we require numerical methods to solve such differential equations. So, numerical methods give an approximate solution that is it will not give a closed form type of a solution that y is a function of some x x x ok. No, it will give you the value of y for the given x or where you want to obtain your solution. Suppose I am having an initial value problem y prime equals to f of x y and y 0 equals to x 0. So, I am having like this y prime equals to f of x y together with a condition that y at x naught equals to y naught. Suppose you want to calculate a solution at x equals to x 1 and which is your x naught plus h where h is a small number. Now, so it means by a numerical method I will calculate the value of y at x equals to x 1 and that will be a numeric number ok. Here we are having two types of numerical methods one is called single step and the another one is multi step numerical methods. In single step numerical methods we use just previous uh, the value uh, uh, for calculating the value at next step just the previous step only ok. However, in case of multi step we use many previous steps more than one previous steps. So, for example, suppose I want to calculate the value of y at x equals to x 1. So, here I will use some value of y of x naught here. So, if I am using only value at x naught then it is a single step method. However, suppose I want to find out y at x equals to x n and I am using y at x n minus 1 then it is a multi step method. In the next including this and next couple of lectures we will talk about uh, we will do some single step methods and in the final lecture we will take a take a multi step method. Now, in this module we will take few numerical methods for example, Euler's method, Runge Kutta method and then a multi step method to solve ordinary differential equations. So, in this lecture I will talk about Euler's method, but before going to Euler's method let me introduce a semi analytical method which is called Picard's. So, what is Picard method? So, Picard's method of successive approximation can be given like this consider the initial value problem d y over d x that is f of x y and y at x 0 is y naught and the domain of x is x greater than x naught. So, integrating the differential equation 1 from x 0 to a general point x I can and using the initial condition y at x naught equals to y naught. I can write y x minus y at x naught equals to integral x naught to x f of x y d x. So, the solution of this particular equation is obtained in an iterative manner according to the scheme that y at n plus 1 iteration or the n plus 1 approximation of y will be y naught plus x naught to x f of x and y x in nth 
iteration a into d x where n equals to 0 1 2. So, for example, you want to calculate the approximation of y in first iteration. So, it will become y 0 plus x naught 2 x f x y 0 d x. You want to get second iteration of this or second approximation then it will become y 0 plus x naught 2 x f x y 1 d x and so on. So, since the solution is obtained as a function of x, the difference between two successive approximation will also be a function of x, because in each successive approximation you will get a function of x. Hence, the accuracy of the solution uh, will depend on the value of x and the solution obtained will be valid for certain range of x. Okay? If you want to obtain an accuracy up to let us say some delta number delta order of the order of delta, it will be valid for a particular domain of x. It may happen that this particular solution is not valid for some other domain for up to given accuracy. So, this particular equation is called Ficard's iteration formula and as I told you it is not a numerical method it is something like between numerical and analytical methods. So, I can say it is semi analytic or approximate analytical method. So, let us consider this particular problem and we will apply the Picard's method on to this example. So, I am having example as dy over dx equals to x plus y. So, it is a quite popular example and you will find this example in many books. So, here y 0 equals to 1 that is initially x is 0 and the value initial value of y at x equals to 0 or value of y at x equals to 0 is 1. Now, y 1 is given at y 0 plus x 0 to x f of so here f of x y is x plus y this particular number because my original problem is y prime equals to f of x y. So, y 1 equals to y 0, y 0 is 1 plus x 0 is 0, 0 to x f of x y. So, initially so x plus initially y at y equals to 0 is 1. So, it is 1 d x and let me write it 1. So, it is 1 plus x square will become x square plus 2 into x 0 to x and it is coming 1 plus x plus x square upon 2. Now, the next iterate of y is given as again 1 plus 0 to x f of x d x. So, this will be 1 plus now it will become x plus 1 plus x plus x square by 2. So, 1 will become x plus 2 x. So, x square plus so it will be when I am putting x this and when I am putting 0. So, it will become 2 plus x plus x square plus x 3 by 6. 
So, we will move in this way, sorry it will be 1 because 1 is outside of this. So, if I put the value 0 0.1 for x y 1 is coming 1.105 while y 2 is coming 1.110167 then I calculate y 3. So, y 3 will again 1 plus 0 to x f x y 2 x d x. So, after putting all this I am getting 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube upon 3 plus x raised to power upon 24. So, when I put x equals to 0 0.1 I am getting y 3 edge that is the third approximation of y at x equals to 0 0.1 1.110337 while it was in the second approximation second iteration it was 1.110167. So, it is uh, correct up to third decimal or uh, third place after decimal. If I take one more iteration or one more approximation of y then I am getting this particular expression for y at fourth iteration 1 plus x plus x square and so on and at x equals to 0 0.1 it is coming as 1.1103417. So, up to 5 decimal places it is correct and it is given as 1.11034. So, this was a semi analytical method, but now we will move to pure numerical methods and in pure in the category of pure numerical methods the very first method we will take a very simple method that is called Euler's method. So, consider again the same initial value problem y prime equals to f of x y, y x naught equals to y naught. So, using Euler's method we will de determine the numerical approximate values of the unknown function y at point x those are larger than x naught means after the initial point. So, if h be the step size distance between two consecutive points that is h and all points are uniform we are assuming here. So, my x 1 will become x naught plus h, x 2 will become x 1 plus h that is x naught plus 2 times h and so on. So, by Euler's method we will find approximations of y at all those x i like x naught is given. So, x 1, x 2, x n like that. So, in that way we can find the value of y in a given interval at some uniform points. So, we start with x naught and then we will calculate y 1, then from using y 1 we will calculate y 2, using y 2 we will calculate y 3 and so on. So, the initial value problem that is f prime uh, y prime equals to f of x y, y at x naught equals to y naught tells us that f of x y is basically nothing but the slope of tangent line to the solution curve at point x y because it is d y over d x equals to f of x y. So, at the point of tangency tangent line to any curve remain close to the at curve. So, the given initial value problem is well posed with initial value of y at uh, with at x naught and which is known to us. So, now we will find approximate x 1 at y approximation of y at x equals to x 1. So, the equation of basically what we are having suppose and this is the solution curve. So, let us say the value at x naught equals to 0 it is given I want to find out it at point 1, at point 2. So, at this point I will let me make it more smooth. So, this is the tangent line at x naught y naught. 
So, at this point this will be my numerical solution y at point 0.1, where the exact solution is this one. Now, again at this point, I will try to approximate the value of y at x equals to point 0.2. So, it will go like this. and so on, while the exact values are these values. So, this is the idea of Euler's method. So, mathematically we can write that the tangent line at x equals to x naught is given as y equals to y naught plus x minus x naught y prime x naught. Thus, approximation to the value of the solution at x equals to x 1 is the y coordinate that is x equals to x 1 on the tangent line. So, y at x 1 is given that is approximate value of y 1 is given by y 0 plus x 1 minus x naught y dash x naught. And as I told you this particular approximation is valid only when x 1 is very close to x naught means I am having a very small h very small step size. If I take a large step size let us say I am having value at 0 and I want to find out at let us say at 0.5. So, I will take a tangent here and tangent line will go there. So, my original solution is this one, but I will get this one as the approximation. So, I will get more error if the step size is large. So, once we calculate y 1 that is basically y naught plus h times f of x naught y naught from the tangent line, we will calculate y 2. So, y 2 will become basically y 1 plus h into f x 1 y 1. Similarly, y 3 will become y 2 plus h time f x 2 y 2. So, I will get a sequence of iterations. In general, y at any point x i plus 1 is given as y i plus h times f x i i y i. Now, what is the error in this approximation? Because from this figure itself you can see this is the error in my this approximation if I take the large h this is the error this is the error at second point that is when x is point 2 and so on. So, how to calculate a bound on this error? So, for this we will use Taylor series method. So, the value of y at x naught plus h. So, x naught plus h basically x 1. So, the value of y at x 1 can be obtained by the Taylor series approximation of y about x 0. So, y x 0 plus h is y x 0 plus h y prime x 0 plus second order and higher order terms. So, let me because if you see this particular thing first three terms the left hand side term and two right hand side terms of this expression this equation it is my y 1 and it is y 0 plus h f of x y that is the this is the Euler's formula for approximating y 1 from the x 0 y 0. So, it means this is the error term r. So, here r is the remainder term and it is given h square by 2 y double prime j where j is somewhere between x naught and x 1. So, the error term is r it is h square by 2 y double prime j that is r times h square by 2 because we know that dy by dx equals to f. So, d 2 y over dx square means y double prime will be f dash. So, I can write it as f dash j. So, how to calculate f dash? Because uh, f dash f is a function of x and y and y is a function of again x. So, f dash will become f of x plus f y into d y upon d x. 
So, I am writing and again d y by d x will be f. So, f prime will be f x plus f y into d y over d x. So, f x plus f y into f. So, the error term as I told you will be h square upon 2 f prime j y. Finally, this particular thing. So, let us take an example and we will solve this example using the Euler's method. So, here we are having our initial value problem as dy over dx equals to 1 plus x into y square. So, here my function small f of x y is 1 plus x y square. The given initial condition is y at x equals to 0 is 1 that is y 0 is 1. Now, I need to take a step size h equals to 0 0.1 and I need to calculate the values of y 1 and y 2. The value of y 1 is the value of y 8 x equals to 0 0.1 and the value of y 2 is the value of y 8 x equals to 0 0.2. So, if we compare this given problem with the standard form of initial value problem then my f of x y is 1 plus x y square. I need to calculate y double prime x that will be d 2 y over d x square that is d by d x of f of x y and it becomes del f over del x plus del f over del y into d y over d x. Del f over del x is given as y square and del f over del y is 2 x y into y dash and y dash again 1 plus x y square. So, y double dash x is y square plus 2 x y into 1 plus x y square. Why I am calculating this? Because in the question they are asking to compute error terms also and for that I need y double prime x. Now, let us take the first step and calculate the value of y 1. So, here x is 0 0.1. So, y 1 is y 0 plus h times f of x 0 y 0 by the Euler's formula y 0 is given as 1 plus h is 0 0.1 and f of x y is 1 plus x y square. So, it will become 1 plus x naught into y naught square x naught is 0. So, this term becomes 0. So, 1 plus 0 0.1 it is 1.1. .1. Now, if I compute the error epsilon 1 is given as h square upon 2 into y double prime j where j is somewhere between 0 to 0.1. So, y double prime j is f prime j and I have already calculated this. So, this is 0 0.01 upon 2 into this is the expression for y double prime. So, maximum truncation error is 0 0.01 upon 2 into 1.1 1 .1 whole square because this is the value of y 1 plus 2 times 0.1 into 1.1 .1 into 1 plus 0.1 into 1.1 square. So, after simplifying this we are getting the maximum truncation error in y 1 that is given by epsilon 1 and the value numerical value of it, this is 0 0.00728. Now, I will calculate y at x equals to 0 0.2 that is my y 2. So, y 2 is y 1 plus h time f of x 1 y 1 that is 1.1 plus 0 0.1 into 1 plus 0 0.1 into 1.1 1 .1 whole square. So, please note that for calculating y 2 I am taking the values from the previous iteration or previous step. So, my x 1 is now 0 0.1 and y 1 is 1.1 1 .1 which we have calculated from x 0 y 0. So, after simplifying this I am getting this value as 1.2121. So, my y at x equals to 0 0.2 is 1.2121. The truncation error in this step is given by epsilon 2 that is epsilon 1 times 1 plus h f y x 1 y 1 plus h square upon 2 into y double prime j, where j is now between 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. So, I have substituted all these values here and then this term. So, maximum truncation error will be given by this particular expression plus this is for the second term of the epsilon 2 and after simplifying it I am getting this value as 0 0.0179. So, here my y 1 is 1.1 1 
the maximum truncation error in y1 is 0 0.00728 and then y2 is coming out as 1.2121 and the maximum truncation error for this y2 is 0 0.0179. Now, if we take another example that is if f is x plus 2 y the problem is same y prime equals to f of x y and y 0 is 0 here. So, if I apply ILS method with step size 0 0.25, suppose I want to calculate value at 4 points between 0 to 1, that is at 0 0.25, at 0 0.5, at 0 0.75 and then finally at 1. So, value at x 1 x equals to 0 0.25 that is y 1 is given by this one and it is coming out to be 0. At y x equals to 0 0.5, y 2 is coming using the ILS process as 0.0625. Similarly, when x 3 is 0 0.75, y 3 is coming at 0.21875. And finally, at x 4 equals to 1, x equals to 1, y 4 that is we are y is coming out 0 0.515625. So, the true solution of the initial value problem is given by this particular expression and if I calculate the values at 0.25 by the Euler's method we are getting 0, but from the exact solution it is 0 0.037180. By that numerical Euler's method at 0.5 I am getting y is 0 0.0625, while the exact value at 0.5 is 0 0.179570. And similarly, we are having big errors at x equals to 0.75 and x equals to 1 also. So, it means the Euler's is having large error when compared to the exact solution and what is the reason behind this? The reason is step size because here we are taking step size as 0 0.25. If you decrease the step size, error will decrease and it happens always in Euler's method. However, you have to do more calculations. So, if we shrink the step size, we will get more accurate solution by using the Euler's method. So, with this I will stop this lecture, I will end this lecture. So, today we have learned Picard's method and Euler's method. In the next lecture, we will talk more accurate method when compared to the Euler's means one modification on the Euler's method and then Taylor's series method means we will consider more means like in Euler's method we are taking only term up to first order in Taylor series approximation of y at about x 0. However, there, there we will take more uh, like second order term also. So, that error will reduce. So, we will talk about those methods in next lecture. Thank you very much.